Through this training video we let the new PS user have an overview of the whole engineering workflow of Structure Work Process Expert System. First run the system server. Double click on the system server icon to launch the console. Then select action and click on start. The server starts. You should wait until the message. Server is ready. To start the client. Click on the engineering client icon. User needs to log with his Windows user access. Enter your login and accept. PES Engineering Client opens on the System Explorer. It allows to create systems and organize them using folders. Using contextual menu, we create a folder, My System folder. From the new folder, we create a new system, My System. Taking a logical view of the structure where PE system environment, it is relatively simple to develop the system engineering workflow. The environment consists of four primary components. The Library Explorer provides ready-to-use templates developed by Schneider Electric. In addition, this is a tool provided for users to develop their own custom templates. The Application Explorer is used to create instances and describe the functional breakdown through application folders that represents the automation process being modeled. The Topological Explorer is used to configure the hardware architecture consisting of networks, supervision stations, controllers and field bus devices. From the Topology Explorer, projects will be also deployed and executed in the last stage. The Project Explorer defines the control and supervision projects. It allows to assign the application instances in the projects and map hardware and communication channels. The last step is to build the executables that will be deployed in the different controllers and supervision stations. When you are not familiar with PES environment, you can find all of this information by clicking on the workflow icon. For this presentation we will create a simple system, focusing on the discharge of a tank, where a pump and a valve must be managed. Now, we are going to modelize the process, using the application explorer. Open the system contextual menu, and select Application. Application displays a root folder, My System, from which we can create the application hierarchy using folders. Here, we create a first folder, Storage, to represent the process cell level. Then we create a subfolder for the unit, Tank 1. In Tank 1, we will declare an equipment module, Discharge, hosting the control modules. To model the pump, we use the motor template, from the general purpose library. You can search for the template, when you know its name, or expand the nodes in the application browser, to find the category in which you can find it. Here, on off devices control, drag and drop the motor template, to the discharge folder. Repeat the operation for the discharge valve. We can now configure the motor instance properties. From contextual menu, select properties. Change the default name by the name of the pump, P1010. Enter a description, and an area. We select the options, running, fail. A P2 signal, as the pump will be wired to the inputs and outputs of the controller. We enter an interlock message that will be displayed, when the valve is closed, to prevent the pump from starting. Customization is done. The instance is closed and saved. Each instance may be shaped to meet the equipment needs. For the valve, in the properties window, we enter the valve information, name, description and area. And untick the unused option, interlocks. The valve has two limit switches high and low. The low limit switch will be used to interlock the pump P1010. The valve parameters are saved and the properties window closed. The two instances are created, their assigned state is unassigned, as for the moment they are not used in the project. Now, we can go back to the system, to create the automation architecture in the topology explorer. We will create a simple system consisting of, an Ethernet network, a supervision station, and an M580 controller. Open the topology explorer from my system. Then, we create a folder named Network which hosts a new Ethernet network called Control Network.
From that folder create a new M580 controller and a supervision station. We can now configure the M580 controller. Open the configuration tool from the M580 context tool menu. The graphical configuration editor opens on a new M580 configuration. First we replace the processor by a BME P58 3040. Then modify the Ethernet security to enable the service as needed. The IP address may also be changed. Here we will keep the default addresses. Close the window and accept the modifications. Configure the input and output modules per the application requirements. We add a 32 digital input module BMX DDI 3202K and a 32 digital output module BMX DDO 3202K. For connecting the controller to the network, we will use a BME NOCO311 module. The IP address can be configured in the module. Here we will keep the default address. Configuration is done. We can save the modification and close the editor. PES automatically creates the topologic instances needed to map the physical interfaces for network connections and hardware mapping. The M580 must be connected to the control network. It allows PES to check the IP address's parameters and to allow communication only on the devices connected to the same network. Select physical connection and connect the NOC module to the control network. For the supervision station, we need to declare the IP address and the different services which will be host in the station. The service is allowed to PS to know what type of executable may be deployed in the station. The IP address is configured in the NIC card parameters. When the station is connected to several networks, one NIC for each network must be configured. For the supervision server, we need OFS to manage the communication with the M580 and the supervision service, Vigio Sidect. Now the supervision station must be connected to the control network by opening the physical connections menu and select control network for the NIC communication module. The configuration is finished. We can go back to the system view. In the project explorer, we are going to create a control and a supervision project. The logic and the supervision facets embedded in the object instances, motor and valve will be assigned to the corresponding projects. Open the Project Explorer. First we will create the control project to host the logic. Open the context tool menu, select Create Control Project and M580. This creates a project environment that matches all M580 platforms. We name it Control. Now we create the FBD section in which we will assign the control facets. Expand the folders and create a FBD section from the context tool menu of the MAST folder. Name it as Charge. Open the Assignment Editor from the Control folder. Assign the motor and valve control facets by dragging and dropping the instances in the corresponding section. The bottom right screen displays the assigned facets. For the moment, the facets are assigned but not generated. From the Discharge section, open the menu and select Generate to create the logic inside the section. Once generated, close the assignment editor. The result can be displayed by opening the section in refinement mode. In the discharge section, the logic has been added for the motor and the valve control. The refinement is also used to add custom logic. Here, we will add a motor interlock to forbid the start of the pump when the valve is not fully open. Modifications must be saved. Then close the refinement editor. Assignment, generation, and refinement are done. Now, we have to map the hardware channels on the logic interfaces. From the executables folder context tool menu, we select create executable and name it, exec. Now, the control project must be linked to the controller M580 configured in the topology. In the context tool menu select map service, 
and select M580 in the drop list. Once the configuration is selected, the hardware mapping can be done. Select Map Hardware, from the exact contextual menu, to open the hardware mapping editor. The left part of the screen displays the hardware channels, and the right part the logic facet belonging to the instances that can be mapped. Filters may be applied to ease the mapping. Here, we select to display only the digital input channels. Now, the right side and the left side only show the facets that can match. Drag and drop function allows to map the logic facets on the hardware channels. Selection may be done one by one or for a complete subset of facets. A new filter is applied to select the digital outputs. And the facets are mapped on the output hardware channels. After removing the filters, the complete list can be displayed. Mapping is done, we can close the editor. Now, project can be built. It will create a complete Unity Pro application including the configuration, the logic and the hardware mapping. Open the build project to display the result. The configuration displays the modules configured in the topology. In the data editor, the variables are mapped on the hardware channels. The program contains the section and the logic created in the project. Close the editor. It is time to create the supervision project. From the root folder, open the contextual menu and select Create Supervision Project. Name it, Supervision. We assign the supervision facets. It creates the tags used to animate the graphics and faceplate used by the motor and valve instances. Drag and drop function is used to assign the facet in the tag containers. Generate creates the tags embedded in the supervision facets and the needed services, alarms, trends, reports. Close the editor. From the pages folder, we create a new page named Discharge. Edit the page. We can use the page editor to add static symbols or dynamic objects called genies to create the graphic page. First we will add static pipes and one tank. The genies are available from the application browser. Expand the tree. Select the motor facet and drag and drop it to the page. Repeat the operation for the valve. Move the genies to their position. Close and save the page. Other information may be added using the refinement. We will modify the right access of the existing user to give the full access rights. In the role, we define the privileges from 1 to 5 corresponding to the full rights. Save and close the editor. The cluster folder is used to define the tags containers and the different services used for the supervision. One tag container must be declared for each controller used in the system. The properties shows the communication attribute and the linked I.O. device that will be mapped to the controller. The last step is to create the executable, we will name it exec. Then we map the different services on the supervision station. And finally map the communication. Selecting the I.O. device and map it to communication channel of the M580 controller. Here the BME and OC311. Now, supervision project can be built from the exact contextual menu. The build generates three files. The supervision project named supervision exec, the OFS configuration file for the controller communication, and the general purpose library SGC include two. Deployment is done from the Topology Explorer. The control project will be deployed to the M580 controller. And the supervision project to the supervision station. Click on the Topology Explorer tab to display the controller and the supervision station. Open the M580 controller contextual menu and select Deploy Build Project. The executable map to the M580 controller is displayed. Confirm by OK. Select the IP address used to deploy the project. Here we select the BME P58340 address. The option start engine after deployment is ticked to run the controller. 
Click OK to validate the selection and confirm the deployment. When the deployment is complete, the controller can be connected in online mode to check the code execution. Select Refine Online from the contextual menu. Check the information in the next window and confirm the online refine, then confirm again. The status bar indicates the IP address of the connected controller. The discharge section can be opened to display the program animation. Controller deployment is completed, we can now deploy the supervision project. In the Supervision Context Tool menu select Deploy Build Project, then Supervision. The pop-up window shows the executable map to the station, confirmed by OK. Select the IP address of the supervision station used for the deployment. Click OK to validate the selection and confirm the deployment. When the deployment is done, we have to open the supervision station, and, as it is the first deployment, Restore the files previously deployed. The library and the project files are located in the user directory of Vigio Sidect. Browse from Program Data folder, up to the user directory. Select the library file and restore it. Repeat the process for the project file. The last action to perform is to open OFS configuration tool to set the communication parameters. In the tool, open the supervision station device config files generated by PES. This file is in the OFS directory available from the program data folder. Check that the IP address correspond to the one configured in PES for the NOC module, then save the configuration and close OFS configuration tool. After running the computer setup wizard to set the computer parameters, the supervision project can be run. The OFS server is started automatically. The padlock on the pump indicates that an interlock is set. The interlock condition is shown in the padlock tab in the pump faceplate. To open the valve the operator must be logged. Then click on the valve. Select operator as owner and set the set point to on. The valve opens and the interlock disappears. Conclusion In this video, you have seen the complete workflow to develop a simple PES system. We have demonstrated the complete independence between the application and the topology. We have seen the strength of modeling allowing to customize the instances and generate only the needed logic. The ease of creating rich graphics objects from the templates, and the accurate information that they can bring to the operator. Thank you for your attention.